What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a pretty hot topic in the Jeep community, um, which is death wobble. Um, what causes it? How do you fix it? Um, I've had a lot of experiences with death wobble. I've had about three different Jeeps in the past eight years. Um, one being a TJ and then two JKs. Um, so I've had to fix it a couple different times. So in my experience, um, I'd like to share exactly how I fixed it, what I looked for, um, and a test you can do to really figure out what the culprit might be or culprits might be. So the first culprit that seems to be the most common, at least in my experience, is the track bar here. So here I have the Yeti Steer Smarts um, track bar. It's super thick, super beefy. Um, the stock track bar that comes on these Jeeps is super thin, thin walled. It's just not a strong track bar at all. So if you put any sort of big tire on there, it, it, it doesn't hold up at all. So it will definitely bend, it will flex, um, which of course would cause death wobble. And another thing as well is right here at this bolt, sometimes if it's been loose for long enough, it can actually wiggle itself in there and wall out that hole, which will also cause, cause side to side movement, um, which will cause death wobble. So the very first thing I would check would be this bolt right here. I would torque it down. I know on this Yeti track bar it's 120 foot pounds. Um, I think on the stock track bar it's around 100. So that's the first thing I would check as for the culprit of death wobble because that has been one of the biggest things um, as far as my Jeeps have been as far as fixing this problem. Another super important one that I have dealt with a couple different times and this one for me was more of just like a, a shimmy that felt like it could have been death wobble if something else was bad um, and that would be the ball joints here. So that is just a huge one because these ball joints completely control this wheel um, basically on the knuckles. So it is super important that your ball joints are in good shape. And a good test for this is to put a pry bar right there and completely under the wheel, just jack it up a little bit, put it under the wheel and pry up and down. And if you see any movement up here or down here right in that little gap, that means that that could be causing your death wobble. And I have replaced multiple sets of ball joints on Jeeps. Um, if you have anything around a 35 to 37, they wear out pretty quick until you get the heavy duty ones. Um, I'm running TerraFlex right now. I've had extremely good luck with these. They're super strong and provide a very great ride. Another thing that could be causing death wobble would be your end joints here, your tie rod ends. So this one I haven't had a whole lot of issues with. Um, but there is an easy way to tell if those are bad. So the easiest way I have found, truthfully, is to do a dry steer test. Um, so set up a camera in front of the Jeep and then turn on the vehicle and just go side to side, full lock to full lock. If you see any sort of movement right in there or right in there, it'll see it. There'll be like a little tiny gap in between there and you'll see it popping up and down on any of these tie rod end joints here. And that means that joint is either on its way out or it's already out. Um, so that's a big one as well that can definitely cause it. And another thing to check while you're down there too is your control arm bolts. Um, these bushings can go bad, but the bolts coming loose is a common thing on these Jeeps. So you wanna make sure those are torqued to, I believe it's 120 foot pounds on the bottom and 75 up there on the top. So that is another super important one, is to make sure those are tight, otherwise it will cause movement and it can definitely cause death wobble. And the last thing um, that I've seen is wheel and tire balance. Um, this is a big one. So if there's any sort of imbalance in this tire, of course it's gonna cause some movement. Um, so that's a super important thing to have your tires balanced correctly. Now, going in bigger tires, it's harder and harder the higher up you go to get these balanced correctly. Um, so it's super important to go with a reputable tire brand um, and make sure you get them balanced by a good shop. I've always had great luck with Discount Tire. They've always done good on my 37s and on my 35s. So I would highly recommend them. A local shop can also probably do a pretty good job. I would just ask them before you go as well, just say, have you ever done bigger tires? Because a lot of shops have not and they're not prepared for something like that, nor do they have an associate that is experienced in that field. Um, there's also off-road shops like four-wheel parts that do those as well. So 
that'd be a good shop to go to as well. And just to finish it up here, guys, again, first thing I would do is a dry steer test. I would make sure that there isn't any movement in those joints, and you'll be able to very clearly see if there is movement in those joints. If there is, that means that joint is probably on its way out or it's already out, and it's more than likely causing that death wobble. Um, again, top things I've seen, track bar number one, it can either come loose or those ends can go bad, especially on the stock track bar. Number two is ball joints. Ball joints are a huge one. Um, if there's any sort of movement in there, it can for sure cause death wobble or a shimmy. If you have a small shimmy, that's another thing as well. Three would be your tie rod ends on your tie rod and your drag link. Um, those can go bad over time, especially the stock ones. So those would be a big culprit as well. Another thing, um, lastly, would be the control arm joints. Those can also go bad or they can come loose as well. So make sure that they are torqued to spec. Um, oh, and I forgot one, the, uh, the tire balance. Tire balance is a big one as well. You wanna make sure, especially if you're running big tires, that those tires are balanced correctly because that can definitely cause death wobble or it can be the domino effect that pushes it into death wobble. Um, and most of the time you can tell if it is the wheel balance because you'll have like a speed dependent wobble. So around 40 to 45, 45 to 50, that type of stuff. So again, guys, that's been my experience with death wobble. Um, I have fixed it around four times. So I've, I found the ways of the most common culprits. The first thing I do with a new Jeep is I pretty much revamp the whole steering because that's usually one of the biggest culprits. So definitely check on those things if you're experiencing death wobble. Again, this could be for Jeeps, it could be um, for Dodge, Dodges, uh, Dodge Rams with the solid axle setup. Um, so those would be the things I would check, guys. If you have any questions, um, drop a comment below or send me a message. I'd be glad uh, to go over it with you. If you'd like to see some more videos, just let me know, and I would be glad to do them for you guys. I appreciate you watching, and have a good day.